What is up, everybody? We are here at the X3 Terran Conflict menu. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the music because it's kind of loud. So, um, that's weird. I have to click every single time. So, this is X3. And X3 is fun. And I'm not very good at X3. Command accepted. Command accepted. Okay, that's better. So here we are, the X3 menu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue my game, which I've been playing for... 3 hours and 15 minutes? 3 hours and 30 minutes. Um, the game is basically a space game. Uh, you pretty much only f fly around in a spacecraft and there's dog fighting and the reason that I'm attracted to the game is because the universe is huge and um, it takes a long time to earn money and upgrade your ship so it's not just one of these games where you can start playing beat it in four hours and you're done uh, <clears throat> from what I've heard you're lucky if after four hours of playing you've upgraded your ship a couple times and you know maybe bought a new uh, laser or maybe a couple new missiles or something. It takes a long time to earn um, a good ship and earn good, uh, you know, stuff. From what I've heard, I can also buy actual, like, um, space stations. So if I go to my property here, it shows my ships, my stations, my wings, my sectors, all these kinds of things. Um, so... Right now, I basically just started, and I don't really have anything, but um, I'm hoping to change that. So, if we take a look at my ship here, let's see, I have a weak shield, I have some debris, which is basically just trash, uh, I got a particle accelerator cannon, mosquito missile, a del Dalexian wheat, which is food, boost extension, which is supposed to make my ship go faster, and I honestly haven't noticed it going faster at all. Navigation command software, which it seems to me this just basically allows me to queue up different commands and then the autopilot takes care of them. Singularity engine time accelerator, this I'll show you in a minute, basically just speeds up time because the universe is so huge that if I just make my ship fly and don't speed up time, it takes like 10 minutes to get anywhere. And video enhancement goggles, this is just like a zoom thing, I think. It just lets me like zoom in so that I can do a little snipe, sniperoo. Um, landed ships, blah blah blah. No. So I've got a little bit of money. Um, let's go to trade and see if I can maybe Using the tra beef up my engine. Um, so I actually started doing the main campaign. I think it's the main campaign, anyways. And um, I went through this whole mission and yeah. This lady's just talking over here. Uh, I went through this whole uh, mission, and my frame rate's dropping because I'm encoding my Minecraft thing right now. So it's taking a lot of uh, CPU cycles. Anyways, I went through this whole mission, and basically my ship was too slow to do the mission. So I had to load from an earlier point. I wasted like an hour. So I think what I have to do right now is to basically upgrade my ship a couple times. So I'm going to upgrade my ship as high as I can to engine tuning. Well, actually, first I'm going to save just in case uh, upgrading my ship ends up costing too much and not really doing anything. So right now my top speed is 124 uh, meters per second. So let's see if I can trade. Wow, this lag is terrible. So I can trade and bump up my come on bump up my ship speed and my rudder optimization yeah do this there we go now let's drop out of the station and see what my top speed is oh wow I'm actually faster cool so my ship kind of looks like a wiener. I'm not really sure why. Uh, it's a really stupid looking ship. But hey, at least I'm a little bit faster. Um, there's a lot of controls for this game, by the way. So 
just thought I'd let you know. Uh, here's the space station that I was docked at. There is a Asteroid gate belt. that will take me to another sector. And along the top, you can see all the different, basically, interest things in the system. So there's another big station. I think that's a wheat farm or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, and this lag is just terrible. Damn, this looks bad. Um, so I'm going to go to the sector map. And I'm going to see if anyone has any jobs for me. And they don't. So I'll go ahead and go to the Circle of Labor, which is a different station or a different sector. And the reason that I know that they don't have any jobs is because you can see this little symbol here. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it's a book. Maybe, I don't know, wings. I'm not really sure. Uh, if they had a job for me, they would have a C, which stands for like credits or whatever the money is called in this game. Or they would have um, a crosshair, which stands for a mission where I'm supposed to kill somebody. So they, they have these little like symbols, and these have none. So I know that there's nothing that I can do. So I am flying to this gate, which is 46,000 kilometers away. And I'm flying at 155 meters a second. Now, I'm not very good at math, but I know that that's going to take quite a while. So they built in this little thing called uh, SETA, or it's abbre abbreviated SETA, and it stands for Singularity Engine Time Accelerator. And they basically made up some mumbo-jumbo that means that if I push this button, the game speeds up to 600%. So that I don't have to sit here and watch the ship basically float through space for five minutes. And it saves quite a bit of time. Um, you can't auto auto fight, so if you get attacked while you're while you're using this singularity engine time accelerator, you actually have to fight the things yourself, which is cool. But it's kind of just like a fast travel system. It kind of helps me fly quicker without having to waste time. Um, it's not instantaneous as you can see, but it's close enough. It cut down what would have been probably a five minute journey into like 30 seconds or 45 seconds. And um, now I'm gonna fly through this gate and yeah, I will show you the circle of labor. Of course, if you don't wanna fast travel, you can always not use that. And then you can just watch the uh, scenery as you fly from one section to another, circle system to another. So here's a circle of labor. As you can see, this system looks vastly different than the one that I was just in. This one has a very green tint, but actually that's just a cloud that I'm in. So when I start flying out of this cloud, you'll see the green moving into my face and through my ship and all this kind of stuff. Um, if, I, if I get out of this little cluster over here, then um, you'll just see the space. So let's see here. That looks like it's the closest. Let's autopilot to that. And see this little light bulb and these little um, credit symbols and all that stuff? That basically means something is there for me to go and talk to somebody and perhaps get a job or get money or something. So it kind of directs your attention. And, yeah, looks like maybe this whole sector is in a nebula, a green nebula. Kind of annoying. But, yeah. And I can just autopilot and auto-dock and pretty much auto all the monotonous stuff of the game. And you don't have to. I mean, you can always just, if you really want to immerse yourself, you can do all this stuff yourself. Except, I think docking, you have to let it auto-dock. But if you want to fly your ship all over the place, there's nothing stopping you. Um, so if I go to this comm screen, I can see this guy's got a little light bulb. So if I talk to that person, ask them for a job. Now this basically gives you a breakdown of the mission. As far as I can tell, most missions are just randomized and they're available for a random amount of time. Um, this one looks like it's pretty difficult. It actually says difficulty very hard. And the reward is 20,000 credits. 
Uh, that's a pretty good chunk of change for where I'm at in the game, but it's really not enough for a very hard, because I don't even think that I could complete a very hard. I mean, I've done some very easies, and I just didn't have the right materials to, uh, to complete the mission. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that one, and I'm at the wheat farm L alpha. I will go to ore mine L beta and autopilot dock there and see if I can get a better offer for uh, something to do. So this is basically all I know about the game so far. I just know that I can fly around to different uh, docks and different sections, I mean uh, different sectors, and uh, basically get, game, uh, get money, credits, in the game. Um, I don't know how to mine. I know that this asteroid that I'm passing on my left, I can actually mine these asteroids and earn money, but I don't know how to do that. So if anyone knows how to play this game and they want to kind of help me out, please, by all means, um, you can go on my forum and create a thread and just say, hey, this is how you play X3, or leave a comment and say, hey, this you know, this is a cool guide, or I don't know, this, this guy playing X3 on YouTube knows what he's talking about. And uh, that would be great, because I really don't know what I'm doing. So let's talk to this guy and see if he's got a job for me. Okay. He needs... Supplies transported? And this says hard. The reason that it says hard is because the time left is 12 minutes, I think. This is just a transport mission. It should be pretty easy. But um, I don't have enough time to do it with 12 minutes. My ship is not fast enough to basically go anywhere and fly back in 12 minutes. So I'm going to have to go to another sta station and uh, hope that they've got a mission for me. This probably looks really boring, but um, it's kind of fun, actually. So I'm going to disengage autopilot so that I can show you these planets in the background. They look kind of cool, huh? Um, you can see this gate is highlighted orange, and all of the other areas are not highlighted orange. They're just kind of whatever color they are. They're blue. Uh, I don't know why I said whatever color they are. But yeah, they're blue. And... <clears throat> Orange basically means that you have a mission through there, and you can go to your My Missions page and deactivate the guidance system, and that'll take that orange highlight away. But it helps, especially for missions where you don't really know what you're doing. They'll kind of like guide you to where the rough idea of where you need to go is. And I mean, most of the missions are pretty straightforward. The only thing that'll really Excuse me. The only thing that'll really keep you from accomplishing a mission is um, if you just don't have the right tools. So, like, I had a mission one time to transport people, and apparently I couldn't transport people for some reason. So I had to abandon it. I'm not really sure why I couldn't transport them. I guess I didn't have the right type of personnel, cargo, space, or something. But, uh... Anyways. Oh. So... This one I don't really want to do because even though I'm getting 729,000 or 720,000 credits, I don't have enough time and I don't really know how to transport slaves. Plus, slaves are illegal. So uh, I'm not going to do that because my ship's not fast enough and I don't know how to transport slaves. But uh, I'll talk to this guy and see if maybe this guy has a job that I can do. So, passing confidential data to my rivals, follow him, find out where, when, and how. So I'm going to do this because it looks pretty easy. I just hope my ship is fast enough to actually follow this guy. Um, one of my main problems that I've run into in other um, missions is my ship's just not very fast. So hopefully we can get past that because I upgraded my um, I upgraded my ship and it's a little bit faster so we'll see what we can do 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's the gate that I need to go through. Now, let's autopilot to it and turn on the speed. Uh, one other thing that's kind of cool about this game is down here you can see the weapons. So I can switch between my groups of weapons, and the groups are represented by these colors on the right. Orange represents group 1. Teal represents group 2. Blue rep or purple, whatever you want to see, represents group 3. And then group 4 I don't have. It's represented by red or pink or whatever you want to call that color. So you can um, activate different groups of weapons. So if I only activate two of my particle accelerator cannons, uh, I'm going to get more shots because I'm not shooting as much, but they're going to do less damage. So if I'm really far away from the target or the target's moving kind of erratically, I can activate two. If the target's really slow and I just want to do a bunch of damage, I can activate all four. Uh, right now I don't have any other weapons, but I'm sure that this comes in handy when you've got like different types of you know shield killers or hull killers or um, missiles or whatever but um, for right now you know I'm just kinda stuck with what it is which is basically nothing these little particle accelerator guns that don't don't really do significant amounts of damage alright let's see if we can find this guy is that him right there? Express. Baron Express. Let's autopilot to it. Set up my SETA or SETI, SETA, whatever you want to call it, SETA. And let's get this mission on the road. I need I need some credits. I need to upgrade this ship a little bit more or buy a new ship if possible so that I can actually do some missions. Incoming oh! Message. Incoming mes message. It looks like the ship. Follow it back to their base. Try not to get too close, or else you're you're getting too close. Oh, great. Okay, drop back a bit. Cool. So I'll keep it at about 10 kilometers. And let's do, I think it's shift... No, is it just V? No. Shift N? No. There's a button that allows me to match their speed. And I don't remember what it is. So let's find, let's see if we can find it. Oop, they're going a little bit too fast for me now. Speed up, buddy. Okay, controls. Let's see, match speed, shift F. Okay. Autopilot at autopilot on. Oh, maybe he's going faster than I can go, or something. Anyways. You're getting too close. Okay, I understand. Too close. Too close. So, E rolls right, Q rolls left, and WASD is uh, different types of up down, left, right, thrusters, but mainly you're going to use autopilot, and, um, oh, is he going through the gate? Okay, he looks like he's going through the gate, I need to catch up to him. Uh, mostly you're going to use autopilot, unless you're fighting people, and then you're going to use um, strafing and all these different kinds of things. <clears throat> so I'm using strafe right now, and you can't even really see it, but you can kind of see how this is at an angle here, and if I did let go, then it just comes straight at me. So we're going to autopilot through that gate, and let's see if we can catch this guy. <laughs> so yeah, what I said earlier was, um, what's really attracting me to this game is that you can supposedly own a lot of stuff, like the whole universe, basically. And, uh, excuse me. And that sounds pretty cool to me. So right now I've only got, like, I don't know. Whoops. No, 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 I don't want to... Don't open up calm with them, stupid. So right now I've only got, like, uh, 
How much money do I have? I don't even know. I don't even know how to check Taking it. Info? From the popular Nova, this familiar name more than no, I don't think that's how you check it. Between the Buster and the Nova. Let's see here. My pilot. Oh, account. 14,000 credits. So I've got 14,000 credits. Not really a lot. Um, I'd like to get a lot more possible. And this kind of shows all your information. So my shots fired is at 1884. Hit efficiency is at 33%. Not too good, not too bad. Um, time saved using SATA. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I've saved two hours already using SATA. That's how much of the game I would have just been sitting here watching and watch. If I activate it now, you can see this counter starts to go up. And uh, this is these are actual seconds because you can see this is going six times faster. So all of these seconds, I would have just been sitting here watching nothing happen. Boring. Whoops. Accidentally right-clicked. So it's kind of cool that I can just use SETA or CETA or whatever. I don't even S C T A, and uh, and go past all of it. The only thing that's kind of annoying about it is it's very sensitive. So as you can see, I scrolled up and it stopped. I right-clicked and it stopped. So it stops all the time. So uh, you gotta be really. Yeah, I'm tired, I guess. You gotta be really um, careful not to bump anything or else the SETA will just deactivate. And if you don't notice it, if you don't notice this deactivated, then a trip that could have taken five minutes might take 20 minutes and uh, and you'll be kicking yourself. So he looks like he's gonna go through this next jump gate. I wonder where this guy's going. Scale plate green. Let's see here. Gate, scale plate Is he going green. through the gate? I don't even know. Oh boy. Pirate discoverer. Got some pirates over there. Now my mission is to follow this guy. But if I can kill some pirates discoverer, pirate, on desert. the way, pirate, discoverer, ain't nothing wrong with that. So this is the semi-assisted targeting, which basically means target that... Oh, shoot. They're on me. Pirate, basically means that um, it doesn't completely help me, but it helps me a lot more than nothing. And that guy is dead. And apparently I killed my engines for some reason. Okay, so to pick up items, you actually have to fly through them. I'm not very good at flying yet, so this could take a while. Come here. Hey! Hey! Got it. Did, did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it, did I? Let's see if I can kill this guy really quick. It's only lagging because I'm encoding um, my Minecraft thing. So if I wasn't encoding my Minecraft thing, this would not be lagging at all. Where are you? Pirate Hello, buddy. How's it going? No! Good night. Alright, so let's see if my target is still over here waiting for me. Got a little sidetrack there. Hopefully I can still follow him and I haven't lost that mission. Um, but I wanted to kill those pirates because A, I wanted to show you guys a little combat. And B, um, I have this law license or something, some item that my character started with. And because I have that license to kill pirates... Uh, I get money every time I do that. So, if I look at my statistics, or if I look at my information now, uh, see, I've got 16,000 credits now. So just because I killed those pirates, I actually made a lot of, well, not a lot, but I made a little bit of money. 
and I failed my mission. Cool. Well, failed my mission, which isn't cool, but look at this thing. I don't know what it is, but it's killing an Argon weapons Argon. dealer and an escort discoverer. I think I should go engage it and see what kind of damage I can do. It's a big ship, though, so they might blow me up. And if they do, I'll just reload. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can just shoot it. Okay, I'm doing a little bit of damage. Uh oh, it's turning to, f to fire on me now. Oh, okay, speed up, speed up. Evasive maneuvers. Now this looks like a pretty big fish. If I can stay out of its firing arc, or whatever you want to call it, um, this would be fantastic. I'm sure this will provide me a lot of money. Uh, if not, it'll probably provide me a lot of stuff, at least. And <laughs> luckily, the dang thing is so big that it can't turn on a dime like my ship can. So I'm just flapping away at it, or whatever you want to whatever you want to call what it is that I'm doing here. You could call it glitching or hacking, but it's not really because this ship chose to be a huge behemoth, and because of its choice, it's getting killed by a small um, fighter. And, uh, and hopefully after who knows how long this is going to take, I will kill it and take some of its cargo. It looks like I'm slowly taking its life away. So, very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> so, I'm hopeful. It's like a dance of death. Uh, maybe I'll let my weapons charge a little bit and see what I can do here. 